ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, lockdown across New Zealand, level four lockdown means that uh, there is a stay at home order for the entire nation. And so we thought we've got to do something different today. A lot of people are going to be going a little bit stir crazy, stuck at home with the kids or the other way around, kids going crazy, stuck at home with the parents, or maybe you're just on your own. Either way, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. So we're kicking off with the severe weather around planet Earth for today. This is just what's going on right now. And so we're kicking off with North America because there's quite a bit going on up there. We've got a few tropical storms. In fact, there's four of them on the map just here. We're going to talk about all of those in a moment, but we kick off with the southerly flow that is moving out of the Gulf of Mexico. Very warm air and it's pushing temperatures up above average across the Midwest of America and into Canada as well. And it's not good for some of the fires that they're battling with and also creating the potential for more thunderstorms which can lead to more fires. So warmer than average at the moment. Uh, take a look at these maps. These are the highs, but it, more importantly, the departure from normal. Uh, we don't use Fahrenheit in New Zealand, so those numbers might be confusing to a lot of you. It's still very warm, even in the areas that have got blue, it's still pretty hot. But in saying that, uh, the departure from normal, which we use those maps here in New Zealand, are showing that warmer than average weather in the Midwest and going right into Canada. Several degrees above average today. Remember they're, they're Tuesday, we're Wednesday at the moment. And then for tomorrow, similar story, hotter than average across the Midwest and going into Canada. Canada, several degrees above average over a large portion at the moment. However, look what happens later this week. In comes the cold air change. And that will push right in with a really big temperature drop, which is going to spark more thunderstorms across the area. This is the thunderstorm risk at the moment. So we've got an ex-tropical storm that's just moved into this corner here. Green shows rain, but the orange and sort of uh, gold yellow coloring across this map shows thunderstorm risks just for today. So we've got 200 millimeters of rain falling in this zone because of that ex-storm, uh, that ex-tropical storm. But look at the thunderstorms that are coming out of it. And as that cold air in the northwest starts to push in, you'll start to see more thunderstorms bubbling up around that corner as well. So a lot of thunder activity around North America right now. I mean, that is normal for this time of the year. Check out this map. This was taken live just before we recorded this video. So a lot of thunderstorms going on right at that moment <laughs> across America in particular. Much quieter in Canada, a few of them up there around Hudson Bay, but for the most part, America and, uh, and Mexico and Central America, very, very active with thunderstorms. Now let's compare that with New Zealand. Wow, quiet. And we've got thunderstorms in the New Zealand area at the moment, but they're just not lingering. So when we took this snapshot, there weren't any around New Zealand, but we have had a couple this morning around the Auckland area, a couple overnight down around Wellington and the western side, and there might still be a couple more today, but they're just sort of bubbling up and disappearing, which is fairly standard for our part of the world. So fires, that's another part that we get from thunderstorms. Uh, wildfires can be um, a major problem and they are right now. This is just the last 24 hours across America. Absolutely stunning. Um, this is made from uh, satellite imagery. So what you're seeing with the flame icon, those are fires that are burning right now, quite large ones. And then the red dots show areas that are still smoldering, hot spots, if you like. So they're under control, but still worth keeping an eye on and firefighters would be dealing with them. So this is very busy. And by the way, that heat wave we just showed you, the hot weather, that's all up in this zone right here. So this is all pine forest, a lot of it's pine forest, um, very easy to burn once it gets going. So they'll be wanting that cool change to come, but hopefully it doesn't come with more thunderstorms. Uh, now, let's get into the tropical storms. The, there are a few going on right now. None of them are too major, but they're all worth watching. So we've got Fred that's just made landfall in the Florida panhandle. It's now moving up, and I just said before, dropping 200 millimeters of rain, uh, and that will be around places like Atlanta and Georgia and North Carolina, and there'll be all those thunderstorms associated with it. We've got Henry as well. This storm is going to go very close there's a little dot you can just see there, that's Bermuda. Uh, that will go very close to Bermuda, but likely to do a U-turn and end up in the North Atlantic. Grace is the main one to keep an eye on at the moment. It is right now clearing Jamaica, just moving off from Jamaica. And next stop, 
uh, the, uh, are the Cayman Islands. So you can see here on the animated map, there is Grace, but this is the other one up here that's falling apart. But Grace is the main one really to keep an eye on because this one's moving out into warm waters, still has potential to become a serious storm. This is it over the next day or so showing the wind damage. The area in purple shows damaging winds and the Cayman Islands smack bang in the middle of that. Then it moves on to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. That's normally a very popular tourist spot with COVID probably not as it used to be, but still the infrastructure there will be getting a bit of a hammering from that storm and then it moves on into Mexico itself uh, over the next few days ahead. We've got another storm also out there at the moment, Linda. This is in the Pacific Ocean west of Mexico and it is moving away from um, Mexico and the USA man uh, mainland. It's going out to sea and it will get close to Hawaii this weekend. So it is a hurricane, but it will drop back to a tropical storm. It's expected to anyway, once it gets in towards the Hawaii region. So it'll be north of there. So probably the best thing is, you know, surfs up. And we've got another storm over here on the western side of the Pacific Ocean, uh, the remnants of Tropical Depression 16W. This is likely to become a typhoon over the next few days, and it is moving towards the northern Philippines, but I think more importantly, Taiwan. Um, there's no other areas of disturbance at this stage to worry about, but this one is worth keeping an eye on. It's got a moderate risk, and I think it is likely to become a typhoon based on these numbers, 80 miles an hour. That's, you know, well over 120, 130 kilometers an hour sustained winds. So that is a, a decent storm coming through, um, not at the highest level though, but still one to keep an eye on for the northern Philippines and for Taiwan. Okay, before I go, let's take a look at some of the air pressure extremes going on right now, today. And in fact, the highest and lowest air pressure systems are close to each other, circling around Antarctica. So here is Antarctica, New Zealand's up here, and Australia. The Roaring Forties, that's it here going around. Not all the way. The Roaring Forties is actually this, this belt here going over the South Island. You can just see that line that goes over Whanganui and just south of there that is it. So the Roaring Forties capturing this windy weather that goes around Antarctica all year round but it's really enhanced right at this moment. So when you take a look at the lowest air pressure 949 that is south of Cape Town south of South Africa, down where it should be, very stormy part of the world. You wouldn't want to be on any sort of boat anywhere near this uh, area at the moment. In fact, most boats hug the coastline up here when they go around South Africa. But there's the big storm, 949, and contrast that with high air pressure over Antarctica, 1077. There's a reason why Antarctica is the driest continent on Earth. High pressure is always stuck over the middle of it. And that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Something a little bit different. Entertains yourself for a few minutes. Then you're back to the lockdown again, I guess. But anyway, uh, we've got more information on our website, weatherwatch.co.nz. And we'll be back again tomorrow. Rain, hail or shine.